Hello guys and welcome to another IOTA support tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you install and compile the IRE on an Ubuntu server. And as you can see I just logged in on a new server and uh, let's get right started. So before you can clone any GitHub directory there are four steps that you need to do on that server in order to get started. Now first thing is you want to get all the updates for everything that is on there. So you basically type sudo apt get update and what, it'll, what it will do is it gets all updates there are. Now as this is done you want to install uh, Java uh, a development development version of it so uh, you simply go with sudo apt-get install open JDK 8 or any other version and I already did that so it already says it is installed after that you want to install a program called git this is done by simply typing sudo apt-get and install git and I already did that too, so it says me, okay, it's already installed. Um, of course, this might take longer when you do it the first time because it actually installs the program then. And as fourth step, you want to install a program called Maven that will compile the resources from GitHub into the IRE later. So you will do sudo apt get install and maven. And of course that's already done. When you want to install Maven for the first time, it will ask you to if you want to use additional disk space. So if you are asked, just press a Y for yes and hit enter and it will continue to install. Now we are ready to compile the IOTA IRE. I will show you how to do that with the with an older version, because here you can simply download pre-compiled IREs in the newest version. So this would be the newest version that you want to run. And this is a pre-compiled uh, build package. So you simply download that and you're all done. On some versions, there is no package like this that you can simply download. But for example here, just the resources. And what you have to do is you have to go to clone or download and copy this link here and you want to move it move all the files that are here onto your server and you can do that by simply doing git clone and then pasting that link and then it's basically what it does we type ls now to see which folders are in this server basically was it what it does it creates the folder iree and in this folder iree all these resources are so we can do now change directory cd and go into that folder and we can see by typing ls that all the files are back in there so as we entered that folder now we want to compile these resources to the iota iri we can do so by typing maven sorry mvn stands for maven and then package and what maven does now is it is building iri one to 1.21 as you can see here and this always takes some time as it's building and it's conducting some tests and if everything goes correct it says in the end built success now you want to check whether it was really successful by typing ls now you see it created the order target here and in this order target we see the IRE that we just compiled. Now, in order to start the IRE, you will need a startup command uh, and set some flags that, um, and you find examples for that on how to do so on the link in the description below from IOTA support. Um, you can simply start IOTA by now pasting this startup command with your neighbors here and IOTA will start to run. Now, another useful command to navigate through Ubuntu is cd dot dot. That basically uh, goes up, uh, puts you one step above in the tree. 
Now we were an IRI target, now we are just an IRI. With the newest version, 1.24, you don't need to compile the IRI. You can simply download this jar here, put it on your server, as I, and you can then simply navigate to where you put it, put down the startup command and start your IRI. But I just wanted to show you how you can compile so you know it for if you want to do it yourself, uh, if you want to be sure that you have the correct version and that nobody scammed you. Okay, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you on the next tutorial.